Hey guys, before I get started with this portrait painting demo done in Art Rage 6 Studio Pro, I want to do a quick rundown of the color picker and the symmetry sketching tool, which is so powerful for creative expression, iterative design, and much more. So let's get started. Inside Art Rage 6 Studio Pro, the easiest way to add a color sample is just to click this. You can see the add sample pop up is to click this little gray plus right pick a color add with by clicking that plus button this little gray box that's how easy it is to add a sample just like that click it start painting all right now there's a couple different kinds of color pickers that you can customize and set up for yourself for convenience and speed you've got hue saturation value or hue saturation and lightness right hue lightness and saturation and you have the hue saturation and lightness variation like that for my taste i really prefer the color block that's the lsh picker or lightness saturation and hue you can also show complementary hues to create Beautiful harmonies to your heart's content. The different harmonies you can choose from are complementary, triadic, tetradic, analogous, and split. And you can just close that out or expand it, sort of contract it there just with this arrow. So I won't go into the color harmonies bit, but you can play with that. Okay, the next thing I want to look at is the symmetry sketching tool. It's my favorite tool right now. It's so powerful and it's really good for designing concept art. It's good for drawing very quickly because all you have to do is draw one half of the drawing and it draws the other half for you. So let's look at the tools, drop down, paint symmetry. And if I click paint symmetry, there you have it now i can also set the number of segments all right so i can say four and then it's going to give me a horizontal and vertical axes to paint come back to the tools paint symmetry set number of segments six so you can instantly paint complex patterns, mandalas. It's really, really quick and easy. And there is also set axis angle. So you could have, you know, a 45 degree angle on that axis and paint that way. Well, that's, so that's really handy. Very cool to be able to do it that easy. <clears throat> I know Photoshop didn't come up with this until recently and <clears throat> Painter had it a long time ago. And I used to do this with ZBrush because there was a way you could use ZBrush to do this. But uh, this is very handy, very easy, super fun and I just love it. So let's go set the axis angle to zero. Say OK. Anything else in here? So set the center. Now, if I wanted to move this thing around, I could just click the circle and move it around and start painting again and then go over here. So resetting the, the symmetry line is super easy man that's never been easy in other programs but it's easy here so you could do a bunch of different things right away so if you're doing concept art you could iterate very quickly but so this is fun because you can just conceptualize something so i'll just do like a little demo if i'm trying to come up with new ideas, let's say for a character or, you know, a, a monster, a spaceship, right? This kind of 
symmetry thing works really well for man-made things or things in nature anything that has bilateral symmetry right that it can start to suggest things to me right so right now i kind of see like this transformer character it's, this is the head up here right it's got some helmet these are the arms right there Right, so this is all body armor up here, and I can just sort of start to work inside and sculpt out some of this stuff. Right, so it's a really fast way to work. And it's very malleable. You could just change things at any time. And it takes half the time because you're only drawing one half of the drawing, it's drawing the other drawing for you, the other side. And so that's that, you know, you could add fingers here. And there you go. That is a lot of fun. So if you're interested in, you know, designing characters, drawing characters, being creative, um, you know, this could be a really great thing for you a nice discovery a great time saver or just blue sky creative tool and you can just go on and on with this i promise all right let's do another quick one based on a horizontal axis and see what we come up with you know you could set this symmetry angle so instead of going up to tools and looking here in the menus you can just click this circle set the axis angle let's make it 90 for horizontal and then you can go ahead and create something in a horizontal mode just lost my tool here right so instead of something that's vertical like a person, a person's face, or a building. Think about things that are horizontal, uh, like spaceships, race cars, right? And this, this will just suggest things to you. And just whatever you're into is what you'll see. And that's the beauty of this thing. So this could be some kind of spaceship, race car. It could be a prop on a movie set or animated feature film. I don't know, let's pick another tool. But you can just really play around with this stuff. You could have hard edges, soft edges. And see what you come up with. This could be like a, a sci-fi, like a futuristic pod that is carrying life to another planet. Right, you just try things. You check the proportions and the silhouette and just whatever you like, whatever your intuition says, man, that is so cool. Keep it. If it doesn't, erase it, undo it, you know. But right away, whew, this is some fun stuff, I tell you. This, this could be, uh, you know, this reminds me of just microscopic animals, crustaceans and stuff that they find in the deep sea or underground, right? Just amazing life forms. <laughs> Little mouthpieces right here. And I'm just using the felt tip pen here, but it works with any brush. So just have fun and experiment. And then you can go inside. Just take a light value and create some accents in here somewhere in the center just somewhere for you to look so we'll create some contrast here and that's where your eye is gonna go because we have light next to dark and very bright light like that it's almost like you're seeing through this thing it has 
bioluminescence. Now we don't know how big it is. So <laughs> one thing to do is, I don't know if you can turn symmetry off. How about turning it off? Symmetry tools, and so just click it off. And now you can just, you know, put someone standing here. So you know how big it is, right? He's holding his helmet. And he's the guy in the cockpit who's going to fly this thing. Right, so now, now we kind of know how big this spaceship is. And it's huge. All right. I tell you what, that is really fun. As soon as you get the hang of something like this, you're going to... It's endless and you're going to learn a lot about design and how to play. And this is a great tool for that. Okay. So that's it for my quick tips on art rage six. We have the color picker, um, how to sample colors, the different color blocks you can have. Um, I'd like to see a triangle instead of a square that might be in there, but, um, I haven't found it yet. And then we have the paint in symmetry and you can paint vertically, horizontally, you can add segments and just go off. So, all right, now let's continue with the portrait painting that I showed at the beginning of this video. And let's talk about artist block and how to get out of it if you're facing that. As creatives, we're all the time facing this pressure of having to create something new. And it just comes with the territory of being a creative person. And that can create a downward pull or tension that can be hard to escape from sometimes. So here's a few things you can do right now to escape this creativity killer. Number one, draw upside down. The mind and body are connected and the mind gets used to seeing things and then telling the body exactly how to draw it. And the body through repetition perfects these movements. And that's really good when you want because you do want predictable results because it makes drawing easier and funner and faster. But we, the downside of this is we can get into a rut by doing the same thing over and over again. So to break this, you want to introduce some confusion and drawing upside down provides just that. This is analogous to cross training when you're working out. The idea that if you change your workout, you can shock your muscles and achieve better results or make you leaner, stronger and faster, etc. Basically by stimulating the muscle differently and you break its training habit or its automatic response to exercise. The purpose of this kind of practice is to force your left side of the brain to give up identifying what you draw. So even if you have a little voice that tells you the name of what you're seeing, ignore it. Instead, focus on the specific line or the shapes that you're drawing or the directions of the lines and how those things relate to one another. That's going to confuse the heck out of your mind body connection that you're so familiar with and allow you just to enjoy the process of looking at the dark and light puzzle pieces, the lines, the shapes, and drawing those things instead of eyes, nose, mouth, and identifiable anatomy that is sometimes so intimidating. You can read more about this in Betty Edwards' famous book, Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain, where she goes into it in detail. All right, number two, this is a fun one, drawing with the lights off. Take a big sheet of 18 by 24 newsprint or even just a sketchbook, turn the lights off and just start to let the pencil or paintbrush move across the paper. You can do circles, you can do infinity signs, you can do flow with rhythm, you can do anything. Just let your body control the movement. Let your intuition go. Kind of like the automatic drawing videos I did before. You can check them out. And then turn the lights back on and see what's there. And then you can 
kind of see something into it and develop those shapes into something. And this brings up the question, who's in control? Is it the drawing that's in control or the artist that's in control? Something to really think about, but it's definitely a fun exercise and one worth trying. It'll get you out of control, in touch with your intuition and your spirit, and bring back that joy of pure play that we loved so much as kids. Number three, create every day. If you do something, anything, every day, it'll create a habit. Just 15 minutes a day to scribble on a paper or cut out some construction paper and work with colors, textures, um, swipe some paint across a canvas. You'll start to look forward to the time set aside for making art. In her article, A Collage a Day, Robin McClendon writes about the benefits she reaped from challenging herself to create a collage a day for a year. Check it out and see what she discovered. Number four, take a walk in nature. I always feel inspired by taking a walk in nature. When I see the blue sky and the white puppy clouds, the soaring hawk, the butterfly, the bees, the beautiful flowers and their colors, the streams, all of that stuff. It's, it's immediate what happens when I walk outside and look for beauty in nature. And there's an upward call that I find pointing me, pulling me towards something greater, something creative. And I just find that I'm uplifted and motivated to get back into the studio and start making things. If you don't live near nature, you live in a city, just go out with the intention of finding new things to look at. The same old stuff, but just seeing it in a different way. And I can almost guarantee you, you're going to find some surprising things that are going to make you feel uplifted and give you that joy to create again. All right, that wraps up this video. This portrait was painted with Art Rage 6 Studio Pro. If you're interested in learning more about Art Rage, check out the affiliate link below and learn more about this awesome software. I hope this video was inspirational to you and lifted you up somehow. Remember to follow me on Instagram at drawjuice. You can check out my portrait drawing course at drawjuice.com. Remember to give me a like on this video and subscribe. Leave your comments down below and I'll see you in the next one.